Alrighty. Then turn left on West Main Street. Turn left on West Main Street. So it is Wednesday, December 29th, 2001. It is 5.35 p.m. And we are leaving Quartzsite. In a quarter of a mile, turn left on Quartzsite Avenue. And heading towards Phoenix. Uh, we're coming back. Um, I pulled it when we got here the other day on Monday. I realized that my solar was not working and that some of the food in my refrigerator had gone bad. And, uh, oh my goodness. Hang on a second, guys. Let me get on the highway where she'll quit uh, yelling at me. So, um, yeah, some of my food, it went bad. The temperature in the refrigerator was up to 48 degrees. And uh, you know, you guys know one of the main reasons I have the refrigerator is uh, I'm diabetic and I take insulin. Um, and I... Anyways, hopefully we won't get interrupted again by the rude ways lady. Um, I use the dial a dose, well that's my term for it, the dial a dose pins, um, because I have a sliding scale, depends upon what my reading is that day on is how much I take. Now, the pins are harder to keep at a consistent temperature because, obviously, the insulin is inside the plastic. Um, so, anyway, to make a long story short, it turns out that I spent a day and a half trying to figure out what was wrong with my solar system, what was wrong, what was working, what wasn't working, and it turns out that my batteries are kaput. Solar system itself is fine. Um, I went and had it checked out. There's a place here in town that does solar work. They checked out my panels, they checked out my charge controller, um, all the wiring, fuses, inverter, everything was fine except for the batteries. Now, because I do everything on a budget, um, I chose to go with the cheapest lithium ion batteries that I could find, which cost me about, I think they were... 375 a piece, 400 amp hour, lithium ion, 12 volt batteries, um, and of course they are obviously a Chinese knockoff. Um, I think the biggest issue is not that they were Chinese knockoffs, is that when I bought the first panel and the first battery, I thought that was going to be enough and realized after doing some calculations, based on what other people told me, no, that was not going to be enough. So, the first battery sat for a year, almost, before ever being hooked up. Um, and then, when I got the new one, I didn't test the old one or charge it first, like a dumb dum And I hooked the two together, and one was almost completely, it dropped the feed which in turn made the other one bad. Um, so, my fault, for one, one for not making sure the other one was charged or getting both batteries at the same time, and 
to for going with the cheapest thing I could find. <clears throat> so, batteries, lithium ion batteries in quartzite are $900 a piece for the cheapest one I could find. I cannot afford that. I actually really can't afford to replace the batteries at all. Thankfully, my sponsor um, sent me some extra money so that I could either replace the batteries or go with uh, either like a Goal Zero, a Jackery, or something like that. Um, and the only reason I'm considering those, one of those over getting two new ion lithium ion batteries is that one, I could probably get the batteries and get back to quartzite but if for some reason one of the batteries is bad because I mean that always happens even getting an 8 gram battery that can always happen um, or whatnot I won't have the money to get back to Phoenix to exchange them um, and usually it takes discharging and recharging batteries for my experience research, it takes doing that at least a half a dozen times to determine whether the battery is good or bad. So, I'm considering a Jackery or a Gold Zero for the simple matter is that my solar system is good. I can get one of them, one of the 500 watt jobs, which would run my fridge, because it doesn't take a lot of power. I can run my fridge three or four days before I have to plug it up and recharge. Now with a Jackery or a gold, we'll just say solar generator regardless of what name brand it is. With a solar generator, I can use my existing panels and buy the little adapter piece for like 20 bucks to plug those into that to charge it. I can also plug it into the cigarette lighter and charge it while driving or I can plug it into a wall outlet and charge it. 24 hours later. Alright guys, um, it is December the 30th, 2021 at 6.09 p.m. We are in Buckeye, uh, Arizona, right outside of Phoenix. And, uh, sorry about the camera angle. I can't find my tripod again. <laughs> I think I buried it. But uh, we're going to do an unboxing of what I picked up. So, um, this is just an extension cable for the panel. So that way I don't have to keep the. the hell? Oh, stable. So I don't have to keep the jackery up against the panel. Um, I could not find any place that carried the jackery solar panels, but. So I had to buy a Goal Zero solar panel, but apparently it doesn't matter. So, that being said, um, they opened it at Harbor Freight to verify that everything was in there. I have not opened it yet. They opened it in front of me. So, this was $249 plus tax on sale after Christmas sale. This is the... Jackery Explorer 290, portable power station. So it has 290 watt hours, storage capacity. It's got a uh, rechargeable lithium ion. And it will do um I guess I would have to put my glasses on so I could read. Sorry about that. Never really done an unboxing video before, so bear with me. Um 200 watts continuous, 400 watt peak surge, um, supports MPPT function. Uh, it says 60 watt max on the solar, but everything I've read and looked up, and they actually sell this with a 100 watt panel. So, I don't know. But anyways, uh, my roof panels are 150 each, and it definitely, everything I've read says you can't go over 100. So that's why I had to buy a panel here. But, uh, yeah, it's got um, included in the box. It's got a two-year warranty. 
um, the Explorer 290 AC adapter with power cable, 12 volt car charger cable, and here's the manual. So, but yeah, it takes about six hours on the wall to charge, six and a half hours if you charge it through the car charger or uh, cigarette lighter, and about seven hours with a 60 watt solar panel, depending on pond weather. And uh, you can power your car fridge for about 19 hours, power your 32 inch TV for about 4.3 hours, recharge your CPAP machine. 6 to 21 hours, recharge your smartphone about 29 times, recharge your laptop about 4 times, recharge your camera about 52 times, and recharge your drone about 6 times. So, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got here. So right here on top, well, that's not a case for it. Make sure it stays in the camera here. Oh, okay, so here's your cigarette lighter charger cable, and here's the wall charger cable, which we will be plugging it up to charge it, and this is just a little carry case for the chargers. So there's information, that's it in the box, I guess you don't get a carry case for it. So, uh, this is where you put your input. You have your USB 5 volt and two, uh, 5 volt 2.4 amp. Then you got your 110 volt 200 watt pure sine wave. Not a modified sine wave like the Goal Zeros have. Well, not all Goal Zeros. The cheaper ones. And then you can plug in a cigarette 12 volt uh, display and this is for 12 volts and that is it there's no other buttons or anything peel a little sticky film off Let's see what it says so it's a 42 percent right now so we will definitely plug that up and charge it And we're going to plug it into the wall since we're at a motel for the night. I, I redeemed some Wyndham rewards points to get a room for tonight. I got a bunch of videos I need to edit for you guys and everything. So, plug it in here. And we've got a free wall spot over here. Blue light came on. And 62 watts input. It is charging. So we'll just let that go. And I'll do a review on them, let you guys know after put some use into it. Let's see what this has to say. This probably should have read the user's manual first, huh? I guess we will be keeping the box for it since we didn't get a carry case. So you get a little, uh, thanks for choosing Jackery. Oh, okay. Register now to get an extra 12 month warranty. So we'll definitely be doing that. It's a simple little uh, instruction manual. It's like four pages that fold out. Talking about the warranty, what's in the box. Operating temperatures, dimensions, frequency asked questions, what everything is. Okay, safety instructions. So we'll check that out a little bit later. And then we got Jackery warranty. Received order, satisfied. Yes, share with your friends. No, contact hello at jackery.com with an RMA request. So pretty simple, not a lot of paperwork, which I kind of like. Um, I hate it when they put, you know, stacks of papers in there. All right, I'll set that to the side. Move that out of the way. Luckily, there's two beds in this room. <laughs> so this is the Goal Zero 
Boulder 100 briefcase, 100 watt solar panel briefcase. Um, it's basically two Boulder 50s attached to each other. This was $299 plus tax. This and the extension cable, which was. $19.99 and I got these at Sportsman's Warehouse. It was the cheapest place I could find them. And yes, I did search long and hard. So, that's what's inside. I may have to take this off the bed to pull it out. Hang on. Yeah. It's quite heavy. All right. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. Nothing in the styrofoam. All right. This does have a nice carry case. I should check and make sure. Yep, we're still recording. That's the other bad thing about being on the other side of the camera, you can't see it. So, let's unzip this puppy. panels being on the outside like that, which means you got to be very careful you don't damage them. And then this side, there are two clasps right here that keep together. And then we open it up. So these are the stands, instructions, so that you can angle it. Oh, okay, they come like this. So it faces the sun directly. Uh, we're going to leave the plastic on it for now. And let's go ahead and hit it off so you guys can see what's going on here. They are connected to here, and then there's where, let's see, how many even bother to find out? Uh, I'd say about six foot of cord is what you have here that comes with it. So yeah, you would need to keep the jackery pretty close to this. I mean, I guess you could use this to shade it, put the jackery underneath, but I got, like I said, I got the extension cable, and uh, that will allow us 21 feet, 15 plus the 6, so we could keep the jackery in a cool place. Yeah, the equivalent Goal Zero solar battery was almost double in price. So that's why I did not go with a Goal Zero. But yeah, you just... Okay, so there's no notch or nut. You just push it until it clicks. Like that. And you plug this into the Jackery. Set that in the sun. And you're generating power. And then we got a little user guide here. Only 
three pages are in English. Uh, yeah. Four pages, I'm sorry. Then the rest of them are other languages. And you can actually chain these together, apparently. So. Let's see, we got a room here in the bed. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Upside down. All right, that is not something I like. You can't. You have to be careful when setting it up. The leg supports don't lock in place; they just free float. But you would have that pointed towards the sun. This end plugged into your jack or your, or goal zero or other device. There you go. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this up. Um, hope this was a good unboxing video. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow, actually, it's supposed to be raining tomorrow. Uh, the next couple days, we'll get it all set up outside and see how, how well it charges. And uh, go from there. Once again, I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you next time.